Hello lovely ones, the seagulls are out and they're squawking with their beautiful freedom so uh, I thought it was a good time to do another reading. We're just going to see what comes out in the tarot lottery, the cosmic lotto. Yeah, we're just going to see what message most needs to be heard by someone out there. So I'm calling in my guides. And thanking Archangel Michael for blessing this reading and being present here with us to any non-physical being who moves in the love and the light who wishes to convey a message through me to somebody watching please feel free to join me for clear messages at this time and we thank you in advance for your love and guidance okay spirit what is the most important message okay seven of wands first out on the table and we've got the nine of swords here okay show me the emperor one more seven of swords oh okay let me get them all out on the table because i'm gonna need the full story for this one this is looking crazy, crazy. Six of Cups energy here. All right. And the Queen of Wands. This is crazy. I'm, I'm getting this energy that you get so many people trying to scale the walls of your life, right? I'm getting there's a lot of energies that want you. There's a lot of energies that want to claim you. I often talk about people trying to distract us from our true love, from the person who holds the blueprint or the soul contract, right? The person we subliminally, consciously or unconsciously are trying to make our way towards when we follow our north node and when we follow our hearts. But I'm getting for you, this is like huge amounts of energies that you've got to kind of you know, fight off almost with the Seven of Wands or really guard against, right? We've got the King of Pentacles down here. Okay, show me more. The Queen of Pentacles, there we go. There's your match there. Okay, one more. And the Page of Wands, right. Four of Pentacles, yeah, definitely an energy of you needing to be very scrupulous, right? And to really hold back from certain offers here, because I'm getting that there are people pretending to maybe be your empress or emperor. They're pretending to be the one. All right. Now, there's a lot of, you know, everything psychic and there is no true separation. So it's almost like because of the law of attraction, you're so close to meeting someone who is, you know, your perfect match. And it's funny when we get to that point. There are loads of people who are quite similar in energy, right? And it's not that they're necessarily trying to sabotage you. It's just the nature of the way the universe flows. It's like there are going to be people coming in who've got very similar energies to your empress or emperor, to the one you are matched with. And I'm getting this as an ancestral match, okay? So, you know, there are many cultures all over the world who are very interested in in who their sons and daughters marry. And this is an ancestral family way of being that even the non-physicals are involved with, you know? And of course we branch out in the West and we're free and we're very, uh, you know, we honor the free will quite a lot in the West, but I'm getting that there is someone your soul knows is picked out for you here. And it's almost like your soul is kind of trying to guard and defend you against physical offers that could really, uh, you know, disappoint you in the long run, right? If you pick the wrong one just before, you know, it's just like if you started dating someone thinking, oh, I might as well just date this person, you know, for whatever reason. But if you'd have just stayed single, someone more, more fulfilling, the right one would have come across you like a month later, right? It's funny, it's funny. Like spirit doesn't want you taking yourself off, off the market right now for some reason. They want you to maintain your freedom with this six of cups. For someone who is a true soul contracted soulmate, okay? So let's clarify. Show me, Seven of Wands, show me. The Magician, okay? So this is about having good boundaries on your mind, right? Because it can be so hypnotic, especially if we're bumping into people 
who are responding to our frequency. So they're going to be, you know, kind of tempting in a way, right? If we've gotten our frequency up to a certain level, which I'm get, guessing that you have with the Queen of Wands, this is really attractive energy, really sultry, very fiery and passionate. And I feel like you evoke a lot of passion in people here. So I feel like with the Magician, right next to this Emperor, there's something about you holding the territory of your mind clearly, right? There's a clarity needed here, a clarity of purpose and a clarity of vision and intention with what you do and who you accept, okay? Because I'm getting this energy that it would be all too easy for you to, you know, flow into someone's energy field who reminds you of this empress or emperor but who is you know they're giving me almost doesn't count like someone could be 98 percent similar to the person you're contracted to be with and this is when the challenges come up when you're right on the verge of meeting that one show me page of wands again so we've got the page here and the page of wands here so i'm getting you're getting so many passionate offers it could be confusing for you two in particular i'm getting you know one will be the one you're waiting on the one that's your real match with the king of pentacles queen of pentacles and the page of wands and then there are offers that could potentially sort of lead you down garden pathway here show me one more Knight of Wands, this is what I'm saying, you know, there's offers coming in from people who might be fiery and might be attractive because the Knight of Wands has got that energy, okay, they're used to being <laughs> lusted after, they're used to being the one that people want, you know, there's a level of that sort of uh, perfection, you could say, with the Knight of Wands, where they're oh so tempting, but they're very frivolous, right, they give it away to a lot of people, you get where I'm coming from here, and there is a little bit of trickery here because we do have the Seven of Swords and the Magician, okay? So it's almost like, you know, back when I was growing up, they would literally give people advice in their men's magazines of how to get women in bed. And what they're basically telling men to do is pretend to be the one, pretend to her that, you know, you are the animus and hypnotize her into giving something away that she will later regret, basically. That's how you could anthropologically analyze that right if you're going to look into psychology and human nature so there's something like this going on here someone saying all the right words and they're showing me like um you know that clear i don't know if you had it in school we had it in america we would have lyrics projected up onto the wall so we could sing along with our little church songs and stuff in assembly they're showing me two sheets of clear paper where you could put your real person and this person you know overlapping each other in terms of the blueprints they carry and they would seem very similar so you've got to be very careful very vigilant seven of wands it's about you not accepting anything other than the utmost respect when it comes to someone you're dealing with because i feel like someone's going to have all the right words right devil yeah they're going to try and present themselves as your real emperor but actually you know, or Empress, whatever, actually, they would take you off of your pathway. Show me this Seven of Swords. This could be someone you're very much aware of, right? Eight of Cups with the Seven of Swords moving away from their games. But I feel like, you know, there was something familiar about this person because they're so similar. So Spirit doesn't want you to be discouraged. Like, you know, we all know what it's like when we think we've met someone that's appealing to us or whatever and then it ends up being another disappointment but what they're saying is you're so close ignore this one because it's not the real one right they don't want you to get discouraged when you're so near to reconnecting with such a beautiful uh you know a soul buddy right a teammate someone whose uh soul can blend in with yours their consciousness can blend in with yours you can create beautiful memories together yeah we've got the chariot with the six of cups so they're saying don't despair all right don't despair if you've been dealing with someone who seemed to have all the right things i'm hearing they looked like the right package okay but they could have really stressed you out here okay you could already be aware of this person or this could be something that could try and tempt you all right but i feel like this is giving someone clarity you're picking the higher path with the chariot energy and going to a beautiful devoted a uh, beautiful connection knight of pentacles with the queen of wands so there's something here about 
checking people, okay? Asking them really direct questions, not being self-conscious when it comes to making it very clear to someone what you want. Because if you ask someone a question, they must give you an answer that is, you know, in harmonic frequency, a harmonic frequency match to what you've offered, okay? And the ones that are fake, the ones who just say anything to get what they want, well, when you start talking about long-term goals, do you want kids, do you want marriage, or whatever the case may be, when you start talking in a serious way, that energy has a conjuring effect, okay? So I feel like, you know, for someone out there, that could really help you, you know? They're saying don't be at all insecure about, you know, your value in a relationship, you know? Put, it, put your cards on the table, exactly what you want. Because all too often, people are tempted to act like, what they want is uh, chilled and da 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 when actually that's not what they want. So they're saying be very clear about how you want your daily life to be with the Knight of Pentacles, right? There's something about practicality here, but also halting your energy flow with the Queen of Wands, you know? Being very careful who you flow your energy out to, especially with the Four of Pentacles. This is about you keeping yourself on a royalty level, ready for this King or this Queen of Pentacles here to take you onto a better pathway and to merge consciousnesses with you because this is what you can do guys you know when you're with someone you literally merge your pathways into one and you combine your storylines right so the saying you know there is something beautiful coming in here where you can really combine your storyline with someone who really is a match to you i mean guys you watch tarot how often do we get the king and the queen of pentacles side by side next to the page of wands you know, a real passionate offer coming from the right place. And, you know, the pentacle energy is all about really home and family and stability and longevity and fruitfulness, right? There we go. Ten of pentacles coming out on the king of pentacles. So there's something real juicy coming along for somebody, okay? Something really deep and passionate and long lasting. The ten of pentacles is the one, you know what I mean? It's getting to that place, slotting right in having an ecosystem of people who are all on your wavelength, sovereign beings, high vibrational beings, and it's beautiful energy. They're showing me the energy flowing and whirling and connecting, beautiful sovereign freedom, and at the same time, a beautiful supportive, you know, they're giving me the word crew, like a beautiful team of people, right, who all have beautiful intentions, and I'm getting, you know, this lovely lovely energy of ambition in the right ways with this ten of pentacles show me the queen eight of pentacles so this is what i'm saying more harmony right this family situation you're going to end up in or this love situation you're going to end up in spiritual soul tribe family it's going to be so in alignment with your spiritual work here this is a gorgeous trinity six of cups king and queen of pentacles and this gorgeous chariot energy of victory, you know, your mind being so happy with the high vibrational state because the chariot is essentially mastering your own mind space, which we see with the magician here, right? And guarding against other people's hypnotic ways. We all live in a hypnotic state of being, right? And we've got to be careful because some people's energies are very alluring, okay? And they can be quite addictive also. So what they're saying here is that you've you've got this practical kind of mm, i don't really want to say practical but with the knight of pentacles i just feel like you've got something so solid coming in that is going to be so grounded and so rooted and so solid that you can literally build with these beautiful people ten of pentacles energy a big family energy right you can build heaven on earth with these people with your golden hearts and you know, your honourable ways. You can't get to the Ten of Pentacles with a bunch of devils, all right? It just isn't possible. So there's something really gorgeous coming in for you here. Let's have a look at the uh, Page of Wands. It's the Knave of Wands in this deck. Wow, there we go. And here's your real one, right? Here's the real one. Not the one trying to masquerade and block you from this Emperor because we've got the Emperor twice on the table, the Emperor or Empress. So someone's been trying to distract you from your true love, from your true family, from your true tribe, but it's coming in, right? I, I'm getting a real lovely bunch of people with this Ten of Pentacles, you know, people who've really 
I don't know, there's something about establishment here. This is something about, you know, a group of people that have done something in a really beautiful way and, and quite a unique way, right? Because I'm getting, this is quite a rare group of beings who are just lovely, right? Just lovely people. And there's this offer coming in now with this emperor energy. And uh, it's, it's gorgeous. Let's have a look. Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. Lovely. Crocodile energy. So I feel like this is connected to the Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, where it's sort of like practical for you now to sort of lay in wait, right? They're giving me really yin realm energies, like of someone keeping themselves hidden from other suitors like you don't even want their gaze on you perhaps this is something about energy right keeping your energy purified undiluted and uh again that hypnosis is coming up like not letting people hypnotize you into doing things you don't want to do right it's it's an energy of patience also with the knight of pentacles and the crocodile energy not surprisingly we've got the elk on the table okay big protective energy okay this this ties up with two emperor cards on the table perfectly this is someone very protective very stabilizing okay and very responsible in a very masculine way okay this is someone who really loves to look after their people which is why i was getting such a lovely energy from this ten of pentacles king of pentacles this person is established Okay, they've, they've got this beautiful world they've created within the game and they use their benevolence properly. You don't get to the emperor level being selfish. It's a benevolent leader positioning, someone who's willing to take the hard work on to protect the ones they love, right? And we've got this scorpion energy here and they're telling me, you know, this stinger, you could see this energy as being contagious, right? Or having a big effect, scorpion energy. So they're saying turn the venom into someone's energy and think how much energy can affect your mind when it comes to someone you've been dealing with, okay? Because it seems like they have quite a, strong, quite a strong effect on you, all right? But there's something about you walking away from this and uh, letting, letting the old blueprints fade out. We've got the camel energy, which is an energy of pilgrimage. It's an energy of taking the longer, higher pathway of maintaining your sovereign connection and doing what really uplifts your soul rather than you know maybe dipping into energies that simply are available at the now moment for example maybe they keep presenting themselves to you you know messaging you texting you but you're on this divine pathway where you've got to keep your blueprint activated for this one here right straight home right i'm getting you know you're operating off of a very divine energy that needs you to understand that this is your situation and not this up here right okay solar plexus okay so someone you've been dealing with could have been leaving you feeling a bit drained but this is about the radiance of hope they're telling me the radiance of uh the sunshine itself in your heart, knowing the best is yet to come. We've got the throat chakra here, little blue one. And uh, this is about your integrity and, you know, asserting yourself. This came up in the reading earlier, right? Saying what you think and feel and, and backing that up 100% if you need to, right? We've got the little mixer, the little 50s mixer. Well, I think of them as 50s mixers because they're quite cute, these. So, uh something's getting mixed up right in your life but this is non-physical and i feel like there's a patience this came out in my reading yesterday like there's this patience required right while you're baking a cake and um you know laying in wait is a practical thing for you right now we've got the tiger the tiger face which they want me to put up here on the seven of swords okay someone's been pretending to be the emperor when they're not all right i'm getting double you they want me to put this with the mixer this is a message for somebody i'm getting getting this message of you're a good cook and a good woman right you can reverse that if you need to but i feel like that's someone's ancestor saying you know this situation will allow you to be your fullest expression of yourself it will allow you to nurture people and not feel used for it, it will allow you to be around people who appreciate your nurturing qualities right male or female we've got the x coming out right and I'm actually getting X marks the spot, like this blueprint is activated and you're being pulled towards it over and over again. We've got the crystal clear pin, right? 
So this is about you being crystal clear about who you are, what you deserve, okay? And I feel like for someone, you know if this reading's for you because you just know you were made for a beautiful relationship, a real family, right? Ten of Pentacles or a spiritual family and you know that you won't settle for any less. So, you know, Four of Pentacles, holding back from anything that puts you in any sense of conflict, mental conflict, okay? They're saying that's not something you want to invest in. And there's a lot of lovely patience here and, and peacefulness, right? The camel is very peaceful on their journeys, right? They can go a long time and sustain themselves. And then we've got this blue M&M and they're telling me blue skies ahead, right? Blue skies ahead, sweetness ahead for you. So I really hope this has been clarifying for someone, okay? Lots of love, darlings. Mwah.